I guess we can start with this uh, duck with the screw in its okay. belly. Okay, yeah, that's a squadron called the Screwbirds. For nearly 40 years, squadrons at Naval Air Station QB Point in the Philippines would leave their mark behind when they left with elaborate statues or plaques like this one left in the officers' club bar. They, they all just run the gamut and it really is an expression of the uh, creativity of the squadron members uh, as far as what they came up with uh, to commemorate their particular crews at, and stop at Kiwi Point. From screwbirds to snakes, planes, eagles, or mythical beasts, each plaque tells the story of a unit that served there. Even the bathroom doors became plaques. As you would expect, the bar just came to house all sorts of uh, uh, plaques. Uh, for those in the Pensacola area, you've been to McGuire's restaurant where they hang dollars. Uh, this is sort of similar Naval Aviation's uh, version where they would hang a plaque in the Kiwi Bar. And so but when Kiwi Point closed in 1992, the Navy, rather than lose three decades of memorabilia, had the plaques and many of the original furnishings shipped to Pensacola at the Naval Aviation Museum. Time uh, had been such a popular spot for naval aviation personnel who were serving in the Western Pacific for for decades that uh, the captain of the naval air station, a guy named Captain Bruce Wood, uh, coordinated the packaging of all the bar, uh, which you know, that includes the pelax tables, the bar itself, which is sitting I'm sitting right next to uh, some of the chairs and what have you, and to send it here to Pensacola and have us recreate the, this famous uh, location. So that's what we did. Uh, now the recreated QB bar serves as the prime lunch spot for thousands of tourists visiting the National Museum of Naval Aviation.